what do I do? Oh, you just stand there. You just stand there and you look good, pumpkin, okay? You good? <laughs> well, what is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We're right here with my buddy, Jeshua Foster, who just got his new channel started up about, was it last week? Yep. Yeah. Anyways, link in the description to go check it out. He's always admired these trucks. Since we got the white one, right? Yeah. Since we got the white first gen way back, actually, over a year ago now, he's admired these first gens, and he's always kind of wanted to, always kind of wanted to come as actually for a couple of years now, but he's had this red Chevy over here since his first truck. He's been running that thing, running it, running it, and he's going to keep running it. But he found a truck that kind of reminds, you know, we're going to wait. Yeah. We'll wait. We'll yeah, wait until we see it. But it's a two-wheel drive. Really good condition, but we'll, we'll save all that for when the truck's actually back. Maybe we throw it in the barn with some light on or something, but found a 12 valve, and we're going to go check it out. So we're over here looking at this truck with Joshua, and we roll up in this guy. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan. He watches the videos. He's like, you're on YouTube, right? I'm like, yep, that's me. <laughs> so I was really going to take this truck and take it Otherwise, it's pretty clean, man. Yeah, it's really good. Well, my buddy Jesha picked up the truck and he is smiling ear to ear. I told him he couldn't really go wrong with the purchase. It was, I mean, it's a good price. The dude was asking a reasonable dollar and he accepted um, a really good offer on the truck too. So, I mean, it worked out for him and it worked out for us. He's just, he's running it, man. He's having fun with it. So, we're gonna go grab some food, get something to eat. And then we're gonna run up to, well, run back up to my place, get it in the barn with some lighting, and then make a video on it there and kind of wrap it up there so we can kind of get you guys a good look around the truck and just how clean it. This truck is perfect. I mean, rust free, no flaws in the body. I mean, he's like, ah, I mean, there's just one speck of rust right here. Like, it was a real small, small, small thing. I was like, dude, that is nothing to worry about. So, super cool truck, super cool guy. He watches the videos and he's like, I had a feeling loud and proud I was gonna be buying my first gen, even though it wasn't me. It was my buddy Jeshua, but I was like, ah, oh, man, you kind of figured, you know what I mean? So, anyways, guys, catch you guys back in the house in a bit. So we are actually back from Jeshua picking up his truck. Went pretty cool, went pretty cool. He's over here smiling. He's been ripping on that thing. It's just, it's so loud. But anyway, so on the topic of first gens, right? So here's, here's my truck. It sits a lot lower than his. We'll show you his around in just a minute, uh, but I'm trying to brainstorm some things because those of you who watched my video from a few videos back, you guys know that this truck, I want to take a totally different turn with this. I was thinking like, oh, let's do 300 to 50, nah, maybe 400 or worse. And I was just like, you know what, if I'm going to build it, I'm going to build it. So what we're going to try to do is all kinds of stuff. I want to do a second gen intercooler swap. I want to do compound turbos. I want to P-pump it at some point, lift pump, all that stuff, right? And for everybody who keeps saying, oh, you're building your truck to be like Greg Alborella's truck, no disrespect to that guy. Absolutely love his stuff. Fantastic. If there's a problem, he tries to figure it out. He does all the stuff himself. It's, it's awesome, right? But I'm building my truck for me in the way I want to do it, okay? There's a lot of first gens out there. I know since he does YouTube and I do YouTube, that's what people think. But I'm just building my truck for me. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, so here's this AC condenser, right? I'm going to take this and I might delete it. I don't necessarily need it. But if I'm going to make room for a second gen intercooler, and the reason for a second gen intercooler is if I'm going to be pushing 650 to 700 horse, which is my goal. I don't know if it's going to make it, but that's at least a goal I have in the back of my mind. I'm going to have to have a second gen intercooler. And if I want to be able to put my grill back on, I got to make some space here. So I might either delete this or relocate it, but probably just get rid of it since the AC in this thing really sucks anyways. And then your transmission cooler, I believe that's what this is. Um, that, I'm not sure what to do with this. If you guys have any... Um, helpful advice or tips let me know down in the comments below um, but for the record I don't know if there's any way you know to my knowledge to relocate something like this I might just have to when I get um, an aftermarket transmission put an aftermarket transmission cooler on it located down below next to the transmission somewhere underneath that goes kind of like mounts across the frame underneath I don't know like if that's something you can do um, but I would imagine you can do something like that given there's so much I mean, there's so much, you know, room down underneath to, you know, relocate something. I would think you could do something along the lines of that, but I don't know for sure. So don't, don't quote me on anything. I'm just kind of trying to throw out ideas in case anybody else has some uh, more helpful input. So other than that, though, once I, if I can get rid of this or relocate it and then just kind of get rid of this altogether, it's just kind of like sitting there, I would have pretty much plenty of room to put an intercooler on there. 
And then when it comes to parts, obviously I want to do a bunch of pusher stuff under the hood, but for now, at least to get me by, we do have all the factory intercool piping and stuff like that for the uh, 92 first gen back there. So we'd have to obviously cut some holes through there to kind of expand it and make it to where the intercooler could uh, fit through there so we could hook the piping up. But other than that, it wouldn't be that terrible. Obviously some work, a couple hours, you know, into it, but I don't think it'd be that bad. Just kind of let me know what you guys think on that for this truck, I wanna do all that stuff, but I gotta figure out how I can relocate or install in all together, sorry, not relocate, just install a second gen intercooler on this. So it's gonna take some modifications and some kind of removing of some things, but I think we can make it happen. So we're back from Southern Indiana now with the first gen 12 valve. When we first looked at this truck, uh, we were thinking that it would be all right. Like, you know, when you look at most pictures, guys don't really show what, where the rust is and what's going on. But we got there and this thing is actually an amazing, amazing truck. Like we got a pretty good deal on it. It's pretty cherry, honestly. I mean, you guys can see yourselves, rocker panels are fine. Everything's fine. And it's just like, the bumpers are in great shape. You know, just just looking at it, when we got there, we could tell. As soon as we pulled up from behind, like, this guy has a good truck and we need to buy it. So, that's how we did it, you know. I really like it. The interior is nice. The interior is super nice. The seats are great. It's, it's really just a nice truck. I mean, I'm really happy with the buy. He's got the RPM gauge. Trans temp. Boost. EGT readings. It's got quite a bit. Now it's, it's got all the basic stuff you want. <laughs> to wheel drive, but for this for this truck, my goal for this is I love to fish and I love to pull boats and I like to pull them far. And don't necessarily need four wheel drive to put a boat in on a boat ramp unless it's really sketchy. So my my thing is I'm gonna build this to cruise and pull boats and I'm probably gonna put I'm probably gonna keep tires kinda like this on here, put new wheels. But otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna tailor tailor this truck. To fishing and it's gonna be pretty awesome. I mean just a great deal and there's literally no rust on it. You guys saw my other truck that I had that had some pretty bad rust, my white second gen. And this frame is just perfect. And when you look around it, you can tell usually when a frame's been like, you know, like janked with where you can tell people are just like slapping on thick coats of bed liner to try to like hide stuff. This is just like almost like a chassis saver paint on to where it's not like thick rubbery crap like hiding stuff nice crisp clean edges and stuff like nothing like chunky or flaky on there i mean it just looks really good you guys know what i'm talking about i mean just no rust anywhere on the thing like it's just it's just incredible he's pretty happy about it pretty pumped he's been ripping in this thing and he's just like dude she's loud guys oh she's, it's loud it's a oh train. you're gonna have to start up for him now they're gonna want to they're gonna want to hear it now come on come on got a dump off in the back axle dump. yeah 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 it's gonna do the classic First gen smoke when you t turn it on. It's so loud. It's so loud. That is going to wrap up this video on Jeshua picking up his new truck. Link in description to the guy's channel. Go subscribe to him, guys. He's almost 2,000 subscribers, and you guys could just really help him out by getting him to that 1,000 mark. But it's just one of those things that really helps out with helping get things moving forward. And if you guys like cool trucks, you guys like boats, you guys like fishing, we're going to be collaborating a lot, like a lot. Yeah. And I don't know what channel all my videos are going to be on, or kind of back and forth between Team LMP and this one and stuff like that. But 
we're gonna, you're gonna be seeing him a lot, you're gonna be seeing me a lot more, and we're gonna be collaborating on his truck and this truck. I've got some big phone calls coming up and we're gonna try to get this truck ready to go so we can rock and roll and get this thing launching forward with some freaking boost, boys. Ponies. It's gonna be Ponies. awesome. And then at the same time, we're gonna be kind of touching up some things on his truck, finalizing some small details, making it nicer, and just doing some other small things like he wants to do for his fishing aspect and his fishing concept with the truck and gearing it towards making his life with fishing easier, yeah. whether it be storing rods and all this stuff. We'll leave that for his videos. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.